Hey Farmer Dave, about how big is the average Wonderpus Photogenicus? A Wonderpus Photogena what? Farmer Dave, do tasseled wobbegong live in warm or cold water? Tasseled wobbegong? I don't know, what's a tassel? Hey Farmer Dave, what's the average wingspan of a mustached puffbird? Mustache puffbird? I have no idea what you're talking about. Why are you asking me about what I can only guess are really silly sounding animals. Well, Dave, you do write songs about animals. So we thought you might know everything about animals. Far from it. No, I look up a lot of things on Wackypedia, just like you, Matt. And when I have a really difficult animal question, well, then I just ask Elliot. Who's Elliot? He is. Animal. Hi, my name is Elliot, and welcome to Animals, Animals, and guess what? Even more animals! Today I'm going to be talking about Skywalker Hulock Gibbons. Skywalker Hulock Gibbons are mammals, and they live in temperate climates, which means the climates are not hot, not cold, they're just in the middle. You can find Skywalker Hulock Gibbons living in China and Myanmar, which are in Asia. Some of their favorite foods are figs and insects. And now, three interesting facts about Skywalker Hulock Gibbons. One, they are ma named after Luke Skywalker from Star Wars. Two, they are the most recently discovered Gibbon. Three, unlike most primates, they live in colder areas. So, ranked by the International Union of Conservation of Nature, they are ranked as endangered which means that they have a small population, but there's still quite a bit of hope that they can be saved. Thanks for learning about Skywalker Hulot Gibbons. Stay wild, my fellow humans. <laughs>